to achieve self-sufficiency in food production in Lagos State. The Executive Governor of Lagos State invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I once again welcome you to this ceremony. Thank you and God bless.
I won't talk, sister, and they cover my mouth. Oh, yeah, talk, yeah, talk. I won't talk, and they cover my mouth. Oh, yeah, talk. Anyway, the good news, if you say. You just create. This man just create. This man just create. Let us go now. Let us go. 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 Let us <laughs> we there yet? Government don't say one look inside on our trouble. Eh? You won't settle on one time. You see, the truth we say, if you open your eyes, don't you don't money. I'm going to let it trouble. Okay. You see, you don't know. Okay. If you open your eyes now, uh -huh. you can't look around. Uh -huh. Follow me, everybody. Open your eyes. Here. 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 Now, start to the look around. No, people are not seeing. 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 No, people are not Okay, I send that call. This one I don't want to see. Okay, no one, no one. Okay, okay, no one. Who send you? Make a fuku tell us. Yeah, who send you? Government don't send the different, different kind of gift. Eh? He say make we take and better the life of farmers. Eh? He say not be like that alone, no. He say because of our fertilizers, where we all you need it. Make our plants and our everything just germinate. He believe for us. Now I go. I want listen. Wait. I want listen now. He say because of who say our road to them not they too good. The one say them go help us. One of the very 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 wonderful thing what they do we say they are officials. The agricultural people. They are officials. You are officials. Yes. They also then go begin to give us a fertilizer. Uh -huh. Many time around, let me say they go just carry on, give for one local government. Uh -huh. That's what they do. But uh -huh. this time around, uh -huh. they go all carry the officials, dash them, or gather here. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Never no, 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 a young man, Sura, hey, what is the problem? Yeah, I'm not going to be a doctor. I'm not going to be a doctor. Now, when come and meet you, then go meet you, sir. Now, when the officials don't come meet you, everybody like that, and I go tell them on a problem where they shoot the fish for legs, then they go on carry viral, put it on top of a paper, on more than that. And before anything go say, abracadabra, your problem. It don't stop. 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 It you two are saying they're not going to beat your dad at all. Oh, beat your dad at all. No, 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 no. Let God say this is the best thing. Okay. I tell you what they have come up with now. No. It is just nothing but the best. Hey. 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 Hey.
The market woman, the prominent farmers and fishermen, gentlemen of the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure for me to be here with you this after this occasion of the distribution of motorcycles to the extension agents and water pumps to farmers in the state as part of our activities of the first anniversary and also as a demonstration of our commitment to the improvement of agricultural subsector of the economy. Agriculture, as we all know, and improved production in the, sector, in, in the sector. Our core issues in the poverty alleviation, a, a program to which we are irrevocably committed. It is in this regard that right from the onset, we indicated that improvement in farm produce, total fishing output, and fiber will receive the priority attention of our administration. And after a thorough investigation and analysis of previous agricultural policies and the reasons for their ineffectiveness, we came to the conclusion that certain major policy issues must be addressed. They are, what, um, one, what efforts must be made that we could meet and satisfy the ever-increasing demand for food and fiber in the state. Two, how can we further the cost of basic food items? Three, how do we increase farmers' income as an incentive for more booster as well as deliberately improving their standard of living? And four, the provisions of ba basic raw materials in the quality and quantity required for manufacturing and in the service of small and medium scale industry. In the attainment of these objectives, our administration is aware that a revolutionary agricultural policies and execution must be evolved, especially if the mistake of the past were to be avoided. In the same vein, we realize the importance of the involvement of farmers in the policy formulation and execution so that results will be optimally satisfying why aims and objectives are achieved in a shorter period. Following these conclusions, we embarked upon review of land allocation policy. The Agricultural Land Holding Authority, ALHA, was reorganized for its reinvigoration and efficiency and effectiveness. This is born out of the conviction that land allocation system is central to the success of our agricultural programs in the state. Next, we commence on the rehabilitation and expansion of abandoned farm settlements, the establishment of new ones and the construction of new fishing farm estates. Another important area that received our attention were the state farmers cooperative organizations which we strengthened and empowered through collective bargaining. To increase production <coughs> substantially, we expanded funds on the supply of quality input of crops, livestock, and fishery through our State Agricultural Input Supply Authority license. They include agrochemicals, fertilizers, improved seeds, finger links, livestock feeds, fishing nets, and outboard edges, among others. Other efforts 
aim at a total implementation of the recommendation in respect of improved agricultural production, included in the expansion and the strengthening of the state extension services through activities of the State Agricultural Development Authority, Lasada. For the first time in the history of our dear state, our effort has have yielded to us a reduction in the extension agent farmers ratio from 1.1 to 2.5 to 1.1200, the best in the country today. <laughs> this action is commended as unparalleled. This situation we afford the opportunity to our farmers to benefit more from regular visits from extension agents who will have given them technical advice, assistance, discuss their problems, thus assisting in the improvement of, improvement of farming outputs in the state. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as a further demonstration of our determination to impact positively on total agricultural outputs in order to accomplish our campaign promises, especially as they affect agriculture. We are gathered here today to witness the distribution to farmers and extension agents, motorcycles and water pumps in the continuous level aimed at increasing phenomenally total agricultural output in the state for the benefits of its ultimate population, industry and export to earn foreign exchange. Let me take this opportunity, uh, the opportunity of this occasion to inform Lagosia that we are determined to bring positive changes to agriculture and allied matters in this state to match similar programs in other countries, especially successful agricultural countries of North America, Europe and Asia. For example, as part of the ongoing effort, we intend to put to use several studies and experiences gathered from our interaction with agricultural administrators in these countries and other stakeholders in the subsector sub on the future implementation of our agricultural program. Similarly, we shall evolve programs, policies that will make the subsector attractive to private investors who will bring their wealth, experiences and especially entrepreneurship to impact on the prices of farming and the sale of art. It is in this regard that I call on our farmers, other stakeholders and agricultural administrators in the state to join our administration in a steady strive towards the achievement of our agricultural programs. This, they were accomplished through a change of old attitude while embracing modern agricultural practices that guarantees improved production. It is also important that we note the important role we are called upon to play in the social economic reconstruction program of the present government. With the right attitude on the part of all, agriculture is capable of providing food for all Lagosians, while our state could become one of the food baskets we can be served, so that we can be served sufficient. The sector with the right policies could be an avenue for a yearly employment of graduates and others in the region of Abbott. 20,000 placements and viewed against the background of our rate of employment. This could be a big relief to the unemployment market. It is my honor and pleasure to commission these motorcycles and water pumps to be distributed for extension agents and farmers in the state to the glory of God and improve agricultural output of our dearly beloved state. Thank you and God bless you.
Development Authority, uh, the local chairman present, other dignitaries, distinguished farmers, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the management of Lagos State Agricultural Development Authority, it is our pleasure to express our sincere gratitude for the honor given to us today by providing to our frontline extension officers brand new motorcycles to enable us to perform our duties of disseminating improved agricultural technologies to farmers in the state. We see this as a major effort of this administration towards ensuring abundant food supply to the teeming population of Lagos State. We wish to assure His Excellency that these motorcycles will be used for the intended purpose. Once again, we say a very big thank you. More praise to your elbow, sir. Thank you. Good evening, my Executive Governor of Lagos State, Pentos Mbala Tinungu, my Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture, Mr. Kali Olusoya, my Permanent Secretaries, the Program Manager for AD, good evening, gentlemen. I am a farmer of the Alakwe Vegetable Farmers Cooperative. We are beneficiaries of the program of this government. When this government came in, precisely on the food day, World Food Day in October 16th last year, my Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture and Cooperative, Mr. Kyle Lelusoya, made promises of schemes to help the farmers. We are happy that today we are able to tell you that we have been able to make good, I mean the Commissioner has been able to make good his promises. We have been given the wash ball and the pumping machine to get our farmers working in the dry season. In the past, we used to use jerry cans to water all these our farms, vegetable farms. The work we will have done in a day, we are not doing it in just one hour. This has have added more money to our pocket. Without taking much of your time, I would like to thank the Commissioner and my governor for doing a good job, and we look forward that you will be able to assist us more in the future. Thank you very much, sir. Grand Allah, it's Hala for making us to witness today's historic occasion. Historic in the sense that during the electionary campaign of His Excellency Governor Bala Ahmed Tinubu and his inauguration, <coughs> he promised to bring Sankar to Lagosians not only in the provision of basic amenities and infrastructures, but also in facilitating food sufficiency. One of the evidences of the fulfillment of this promise is the evidence that we have all witnessed today. We in the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives are particularly grateful to His Excellency for the serious attention and support he is given to our ministry and its program. This is to this is this to us is a great departure from the very little attention we have received from the past. We are equally grateful to members of the winning executive council the, for the visionary support to his, uh, to his Excellency, making life more abundant for the good people of Lagos State. You have, by your actions, given credence to the same. If you give a hungry man fish, you have fed him for the day. But if you teach a hungry man how to fish, you have, you have fed him for the rest of his life. By facilitating extension services, Delivery to farmers, you are ensuring that farmers' productivity will increase and consequently their standard of living and ensuring food security, which is the ultimate goal. To the members of the State House of Assembly, we thank you very much, especially members of the House Committee on Agriculture. We are grateful for your continued assistance. Our thanks also goes to the Chairman Ipakojai and Agege Local Government. We thank you very much. Thank you.